Hello everyone, this is Night Strider here, and today, welcome to Train Thin World. We are currently in America, Amtrak, and United States, it's like, and we are doing the uh, City Lights thing, the Bob. Okay, so I was just doing an auto check there. Basically, we're going to drive a train. Now, I've never driven a train. Never drove a train. I have never been on a train. What could go wrong? Okay, just to say, I have played this game a little bit, so I do kind of know. I've done like the tutorials and stuff, and I've done a few services on the Great Western Rail. But I have never driven this one. That's a lie I have in the tutorial. Okay, reverse it forward. I think the reverse is just like the gearbox in a car. Unlock doors, unlock doors, unlock doors. How do I do that? Um, uh, unlock doors? Oh, my. Yeah, I have to press tab. Okay. Left platform. Now, let's make sure I don't accidentally unlock the doors. No, I, okay, I did. I was gonna say, hopefully I don't um, activate the open these doors. That'll be bad. But yeah, this game is amazing. Like it looks really good. Like look at the detail. They went like into detail that much detail, and like look, this dirt on the train. This is just the, the extra stuff that makes the game look so good. Hold on, do we have a, our lights on? No, we don't. Front there, light. How do I turn these ones on? Um, front hand light, right. There we go. Release. Release. Okay, let's go. Move train, come on. Okay, this is really anticlimactic. Why is the train not moving? There we go. But yeah, I'm gonna be saying this the entire time and I'm pretty sure everyone who makes videos on this simulator just like uh, always just says this. This game looks amazing. So like really good job Dovertail. Lines work. Do they need to work? No. But do they? Yes. Just like, just like this. It's louder when you just so good. Oh, someone liked it. Someone, two people liked it. Welcome to the stream, people who are watching. Um, thank you for joining the stream. Much appreciated. The train actually leaned. Like, they actually added that. Whoa. Okay, visual glitch. I love how it's commenting them and then we get visual glitch. Oh well. 25 kilometers? That's gonna be fun. 24 kilometers. What can I do? Cab line. Don't need that. Off. Eh, yeah, we'll leave it on that. I'm gonna turn it off, actually. Oh, so that's, that's that. We can go to do 150. I love that note so much. I love how I can just, like, click so much. This game runs so smooth. It's so cool you can just get up and run around.
Um, why is it just going loud? Okay. I think there's like a glitch in that it doesn't detect... Sometimes it doesn't detect when you're actually getting it in and out of the scene, so it makes it louder. Does anyone else hear a steam train right now? Because I hear a steam train. Okay, I want to go through. What does each button do? F3 shows the ca FPS counter. Where's the... Jeez. Screenshot button. Please quiet yourself. I don't... Why is it so loud? Ah. Oh crap, we need to slow down. Ah! Put me back in there! Break. Break, 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 break. Frick! Oh, I find, never mind. Trains are so amazing. Like, honestly, the fact that they can just, like, like, look how big this is. Look how much weight this train is carrying, or pulling along. And it's just doing it with ease. Also, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Can someone, play, some, if someone knows what this is, please let me know, because I'm actually really curious. The water, though. <gasps> Can I do this? Yeah. I mean, you can do that, but you why would you want to? Sorry if my voice sounds kind of trashy. I th I'm a bit sick. We have 14 plus 8. 22 minutes until we need to be at New York Penn. Also, I am going. I'm just going to apologize in advance. I am so sorry if I butchy, butchered names of places and things. Because. Like, I know Amtrak, that, that's obvious that it's Amtrak, but like, other things like P-E-N-N, -N. I'm gonna guess that's Pen, I don't know. That button does the thing. I don't know what that button does, because it just like goes... It makes a noise. That's what it does. So, how's everyone's day going? Because I am happy. It's cool that... That is good. Okay, that's so cool. It like stops you here, so you, you can't just like completely bring your head back. Cause like, in real life you can't do that. I wanna see what happens if I go down here. I'm sorry, but just turn yourself down a bit. It's really loud. It didn't make a difference. Looks like 
got to click apply. There we go, much better. Oh, two people are watching, and two, three people have liked. Um, cool. So to the people who just joined, thank you for joining. Okay, the did look at the rail. Nowhere else would you find it that they actually add a reflection to the rail in like the default game. Wait, did it? Okay, never mind. Um. So, I made an announcement the other day, a few days ago. So the reason that this has not been prepared in the last bit is because Peter D V four point five worked, um, released, and it has basically cut my performance to a level that's unplayable and I haven't had time to roll back to P3D V4.4 and also another reason I really haven't noticed much different in V4.5 like I'm sure that there is new stuff but I only have the academics I don't have any of the weapons and stuff so like yeah. If you know anything, like, act if you can actually tell me something new, like, worth me staying on 4.5 in dealing with, like, 20 FPS rather than 60, tell me. Also, 20 FPS isn't, like, the highest I get. I mean, the lowest, sorry, I get down to, like, 5 at Melbourne Airport. At all best Melbourne. Which is rubbish. And like the default scenario where you spawn in, um, yeah, that's gone down to like 10, where it used to be 60, so I'm annoyed at that. Why does it have a bell? buttons. Also, I think you can l actually just detach the carriages. It kind of like glitches out unless you detach them. But I'm not going to do it. I just want to see if I can get it to work so I can show you guys. No. I'm sure I just... There! 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 It actually let it actually it is so tempting to press it right now. I'm going to get myself away from that before I end up actually doing it, and then this, the train behind me doesn't even realize, and suddenly it goes so that it hits the carriages. And oops, I was meant to be slowing down. Ladies and gentlemen, off to the left you will see a rip off Sydney Harbour Bridge. I'm trying to read who what the company is, but it's, it's probably not actually a real company. Imagine if people actually pay if companies actually paid money to have their ad ads in like vid in simulators and stuff. Like that's just a an oof.
I'm gonna go Google. The Google app and let's read some stories. See if anything interesting has happened. Why am I going so slowly? Sorry, I just went quiet, I was reading something. It's Chuck Denial. I might stream on the weekend. Prepared. Either I'm going to try and stream in, P in V4.5 or I'm going to go back to... or I will go... English! Or I will stream after I have gone back to V4.4 if I can be bothered to do it. Because that's a lot of else just sitting around doing nothing. then, what I just did. Just like blatantly telling someone to go and join the, the YT stream instead of me broadcasting it on... Actually, yeah, me broadcasting it to Steam as well would probably kill everything. So I'm not going to do that. But honestly, I'm surprised how well my internet is running. Like, actually. Australian internet is actually letting me stream. Can I like raise this? Check it's gonna let me open the door. Oh, I can't. That's depressing. The only complaint I have about this game is just how long. Like, there's no speeding up time, or there's no like time compression. So it's really just like, you have to spend this way. Damn that lane. I want to see if the train like straightens itself out. Oh my gosh, it actually does. That is so cool. Other than the odd, like, visual, the rare visual and audio glitch, I really haven't experienced many problems with this game. It's run pretty smoothly most of the time. Um, only other thing, this just, like, sometimes it kind of, like, bugs out with the signals and, like, blocks them all as red. I think that's, like, if you don't make it to the signal in time, it makes it red and then it, you're basically screwed because they won't change it. What did I just press? Oh gosh, please go green. I might just go back to the speed that we're meant to be at, just to be safe. Nine. 
yellow. We're looking on the blue line. The, this line. I think we're okay. Sorry if the thing starts. Yeah, so it runs really well. It actually looks really nice. Like this is only I think mostly medium settings. I really should have the cap lights on right now. There we go. There we go. Oh, money! Screenshots, everybody! Screenshots. There goes my storage. Yeah, we're nearly at the place, though. Oh no, we're gonna have to wait then. Oops, are we gonna have to wait there? Slowing down to what, 24 kilometers per hour? That's fine. It's currently 7 o 5.06 p.m. We are meant to be there at 5.14 p.m. It's currently 8 minutes early. That's problematic. I think that... We can probably just, like, go and explore the station and, like, muck around and stuff for a bit. No, don't do that. Oops. Oh no, I just put into an emergency. Great. 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 Move. Why are you... I put the reverse onto neutral just then. Make sure these are off. Why is the independent brake being on the entire time? Go that way! Oh, well, that just killed a minute. Yeah. These are, graphics are really good. Dotel did an amazing game with... Amazing job with this simulator. That looks so cool. Telephone! That's, there's a song about that though, isn't there? Hold on. When's the speed limit? Okay, a kilometer at a time. Front headlight, let's turn that down a bit. How do I turn off? We might have to honk the horn. I guess this is where we spent... Make it to 7.14? Having to go this slow for another kilometer. Hi, Mark. Wait, thirty. Um, Merc, it's norm- I- hold on. Shift tab. 
frick. Mark, I'll get it up to you. I'll open Steam. Thank you for liking all the likes on this video, guys. I'll get it up on Steam how much it is currently. Because it was just on sale. They just had the Easter sale and it got down really cheap, like the bundle I bought. Hold on, I'm going to have to multitask here. Um, train sim world. Oh, wow, it's currently on. Yeah. Merc, if you want it, go buy it now. It's still $30. Oh, wow. It's not. Um, okay. Comrade Merc. Go back to the YouTube tab. Um, the... It's one... The lighter... The... One of the addition... Hold on. Okay. I'm just gonna focus and then I'll tell you in a second. I just wanna make sure I get this right. The last thing I need is doing all this and then running like a red signal or something. Um, basically, there's two bundles. One is $56. The other is currently on sale for $30. It's normally $42. The one for $56 is the Deluxe Edition. And, um, that is the one I have. The only difference between the two is that the deluxe edition comes with another, like the cargo CSX, one of the a new like two l locomotives that the just the normal one doesn't. So yeah, but that's just basically the only difference. It's currently fifty seven dollars, and then the normal one. Which is like base the one without the locomotive is thirty dollars, but I got the deluxe edition for thirty dollars because it was on sale. You're welcome. So it's up to you if you want to wait for the next sale, which I've got no idea when it will be. But I mean the bundle's still pretty cheap because it's like normally it's two hundred dollars worth of stuff down to fifty six already, so that's a lot, like really cheap. Let's chuck it. And minimum application. No, please don't train. <gasps> Perfect. Tab. We have to wait here for a bit now, so we can go explore. Why is my performance dead? Um, there might be sales in July. I don't even... They just had an Easter sale, so they could have one in July. But then they'll definitely have one. Hi. So many people. Also, the actual, like, people walking animation is actually pretty spot on. Actually, what does this do? Gangway very cool. Can I decouple this? Kiss. Casually just on the track. What? What's the decouple thing? Yeah, we just uncouple the train. That is so cool. Attention to detail. Do it here. We can. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'm actually. If X Plane 11. Oh, okay, I have to run back here. If X Plane 11 comes on sale, I may buy it. Just for the fact of the Zebo 73. So I'm gonna have to download the demo again. Because I wanna see if they've actually made any improvements so it might get. it will actually run. 
because for me at minimum settings it used to be trash like actually not e non-existent working neutral is oh we just finished it we should probably put that on just went to emergency I don't have to deal with that but yeah Turn on full earth mode um, I probably can't run it then. I'm, you can see my specs down in the description. If you're saying that, how does yours run? Because this is a pretty resource intensive game, but it's actually quite optimized. So I might download the demo. If the demo runs well, I might, like... This is the thing, I just don't want to end up with, um... I just don't want to end up with it being, like me getting stuck with it because they won't give me a refund. Main menu. Do you reckon I should swap over to a different... I'm going to swap over to a different line. I'm going to swap over to the Great, Great Western Rail line because that looks like a pretty cool line. I kind of want to buy this now because that's such a cool train. Services scenarios. How do you have 3.6 gigahertz? Um, it comes. Its base clock is that. Okay. Yeah, but Merc, what can you Merc? Can you? Okay, I'm gonna ask you a favor, Merc. Can you post your specs and also find out what the specs are for X plane? My specs are just in the um description and. It literally comes at 3.6 gigahertz, um, which is that zero. It's base, like, base clock is 3.6. Just Google i3-8100 and it's thing is 6 gigahertz. Not even, not overclocked. I don't even think you can overclock it. Serve scenarios. These are all long. Services. You know what? I want to show you guys the rapid transit one. This is based in Germany. I want to show you this. I want you to hear the almighty sound that is the freaking um horn of this train. Because I've done it, as you can see, I've done that scenario. The horn is like the funniest um horn you'll ever hear. Like. It's like one of those kid ones. I need to get to you. Thank you, Zazazu. Not too many people watch streams as they when they're actually live, but eventually, like... Oh, do they I do it? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, you have the 1050 in that. You built your own new computer. I had the option to go to an i5-5600 or something like that, but then I chose not to because they wanted 80... They wanted like $800 just for the parts. So I ended up with the i3-8100. And like the parts would have been like 800 plus how much ever much to actually build it. Cloud rod is that. I'm happy with what I got. Like I'm so surprised I'm even getting above 30 FPS right now. Welcome to Bitterfield Station. From here you'll be running all, an all station stopping service to whatever. I don't know. You're running an all stopping service north as far as that place. More CPU is also a 6 core. Message retracted. Yeah, I know. But this thing runs pretty well. Like, V4.4 or P3D it runs amazing. Freaking German engineering for the win. That's cool. After we do this, if I can, st if I still have time, do you, do you two want me to do a Great Western Rail with the um, high speed thing, which can get up to like 200 k's an hour? Um, that's not good. My math just decided that's gonna be okay. 
Um, I will be right back. I'm just gonna pause the screen for a second. I have to go get my Mac charger. G4. Um, uh, so, I have to go in, like, a minute. We're gonna close the doors. But what I'm going to do before I leave is show you the meme that is the horn on this train. So let's go into the outside view. Hold on, I want to close this first. I'm just going to close this and I'll do it. Wow, it's actually 1714. Okay, never mind then. Are you ready for this? Prepare yourself. Three, two, one. Yep. What the heck? And with that utter load of rubbish and memory, thank you for watching the stream. I might be back later with some prepared or I'll stream this again. Thank you for watching the stream. I've been Night Strider.